July, also known as Independence Day, is almost here. And I thought this would be the perfect time to discuss one of America's most beloved brands, Jell-O. So today I'm going to recreate a vintage Jell-O recipe from this cookbook, Joys of Jell-O, printed in 1963. To make it modern, I'm going to use star-shaped Jell-O molds to create a patriotic dessert that will be the hit of your 4th of July party. The year was 1895, and Pearl Waite and his wife May were at wit's end. They had created a cough syrup that they weren't very successful at selling. They decided to try something new and thought they might have better success in the food industry instead of medicine. At some point, they stumbled upon powdered gelatin, which had been invented a few years earlier, and realized they could combine their sweet-tasting cough syrup with the gelatin to create a charming and fruity dessert. May came up with the name Jell-O as a riff of the words gelatin and jelly. Adding an O to the end was a bit of a trend at the time because it was easy to get a trademark on a common word by simply adding the eye-catching O. Unfortunately for Pearl and May, their lack of marketing and selling skills meant they were unable to get their new Jell-O product off the ground. They ended up selling it to Frank Woodward, a fellow neighbor, for 450 bucks, which today would be about $12,000. Woodward tried marketing Jell-O by having salesmen with fancy suits and giving away free samples of Jell-O to housewives. However, these traditional methods were unsuccessful. It wasn't until Woodward purchased a print ad in an issue of Ladies Home Journal with a picture depicting a fashionable woman in a white apron and absurdly declaring it America's favorite dessert did sales start to take off. After realizing the power of print advertising, Woodward continued to market Jell-O until it became one of the most recognized brands in American history. I figured what better way to celebrate our great country than to make a dessert that is 100% American. To make this crown jewel dessert, begin by preparing three different flavors of Jell-O. I chose orange, strawberry, and lime. In three separate bowls, mix each three ounce package with one cup boiling water and stir until dissolved. Then add half a cup cold water and stir again. Pour each flavor into an eight inch square pan and chill until firm, preferably overnight. Cut the jello into small cubes and set aside. Once the jello is firm, you can make the filling. In a small pot over a medium flame, stir together one cup of pineapple juice with a quarter cup sugar. Once the sugar is dissolved, remove from the stove and stir in one three ounce package of lemon jello. Stir until the jello is dissolved and then add half a cup cold water. Pour into a pie pan or shallow dish and chill until slightly thickened. I have found that by using a shallow dish, it speeds up the time it takes to thicken. While the jello is thickening, you can whip two cups of whipping cream until firm. Once the lemon jello is ready, mix together the jello and whipped cream. When you're done, carefully fold in the multicolored Jell-O cubes. Pour it into a mold and chill for at least five hours or preferably overnight. Mm. I love this dessert. It's light and fluffy, kind of exactly what you wanna eat after having a very heavy barbecue. And then the fun part is you bite into little pieces of the jello, which gives you that burst of flavor. I am loving this dessert for any time of year. To make this modern, I'm gonna use these star-shaped molds that you can get at my online store, Retro Depot. To make the jello for the star molds, I'm adding two and a half cups of boiling water to six ounces of cherry jello, and then repeating for the berry blue. Next, I carefully fill up the molds with the liquid and then chill for 20 minutes and then repeat until all the jello has been molded. Once they're finished, I carefully fold them into the same mixture I made in the vintage recipe. Doesn't that look perfectly patriotic? George Washington himself would be proud.
What I love about this recipe is you can switch out the colors for any type of get together. What about using the colors of your favorite team? Or how about red and green for Christmas? No matter how you style it, this crown jewel dessert is both gorgeous and delicious. If you liked any of the home goods in today's video, you can find them at my online store, RetroDepot.co. Just click the link in the description box below. The fourth of ah! I don't know what happened. Woo! Okay. Then I'm gonna recreate a vintage Jello recipe from the blah 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 blah. Do, 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 do. Okay. Should I say American Independence Day? No. Okay. Because people outside of the United States, but they know, like that's common knowledge, right? Like Bastille Day is the 14th of. I have no idea. <laughs> is it August or something? Whatever. But I know it's like important date for the French, for the Swiss. Just kidding.